Hey everyone, this is Dungeon RPG. Welcome to another Mailman Tuesday. This time I got a whole bunch of Pokemon coins and cards from a second-hand store in Japan. For those of you that imports a lot of used video games from Japan, you might be familiar with Surigaya. I've actually never bought from them before, and they they have not only video games but also a lot of hobbies and really. And most of these are Japanese exclusive cards and coins. That's why I got them. This would have been otherwise pretty hard and prohibitively expensive to get just buying them one by one on an auction site. So all of these are really nicely inventoried as you can see. I'm guessing the name is whoever that sold the item to them initially and the item's name and number. We got a Sparkle Zacrom coin and one from the older Pokemon Versus sets. This coin will be pretty hard to come by. Another Gen 5 coin <laughs> with uh, Oshawa, Tepic and Slivy. This is Reshiram, I think, yeah. Ooh, this is an orange uh, Sinnoh starter coin. <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> the other one, and this is the cream of the crop. A Mewtwo coin from the original Pokemon card game, as you can see here. Nintendo G, it's Game Freak, I think. I got this, I think, for about 500 yen, and this is worth like a good 40, 50, 60 dollars. Super happy to get this Mewtwo. This is from the, one of the anniversary premium boxes, I think. It's with the new Pokemon card game symbol. Tapu Bulu! And uh, last but not least, Rotom Dex. <laughs> Whole bunch of coins to add to my collection. I don't have any other coins that's coming in, so I'll be ready to show off my collection pretty soon. And now, let's see all the cards. Most of these are from all of the movie sets as well as the old uh, E-series Versa set, so they are all going to be Japanese exclusive. I'm curious to see what kind of uh, condition are their other played cards. And Tom Call Celebi. The Japanese one has a different kind of uh, sparkle pattern, hollow pattern to it, that's why I got both of these. They're very different from our English ones. As you can see. And then we have Rotas Utsuhashi, which is uh, Rota, that's from the Lucario Mystery of Mew movie. And Takeshi no Foretos, this is uh, Brock's Fortress. Hayato no Doturio, this is uh, Faulkner's Doturio. Akane no Miru Tank, Whitney's Mill Tank. Mampa no Kyukon, Morty's Nightales. Perfect condition. Uh, Mika no Sandas. Jasmine's uh, Jotian. Amika no Hagane This is actually a holo card. <laughs> Jasmine's uh, Steelix. I'm not gonna bother going over all the attacks names, and that's gonna just take way too long, but Speed Osta, that's Swift. Ayan <laughs> This is uh, Yanaki no Jukon. <laughs> this is the guy that had the Pilo Swine and stuff. Can't remember his name. They'll come to me later on. And uh, his Lapras. Much Snow Lantern. This is uh, Lieutenant Surge's Lantern. Uh, Natsume no Efi. Uh, Sabrina's uh, SP on this card. It looks like it's almost like a shiny. You can see it's got this grayish, almost green color. This card, is, uh, if I remember correctly, is pretty expensive. Okay. Kasumino Lapras. Uh, Misty's Lapras. You can see Misty. Yashino Utada's Healing Song. I don't think that's an actual Pokemon move. Oh, Nami, that's Giant Wave. <laughs> Anzu no Tsubo. This is uh, Jasmine's Shako. Suzuki and uh, Petoro Kogeki. That's Headbutt and Sludge. Sludge. That sounds just the name, I think. Full coin of heads, they're poisoned. None of these cards are really competitive, but they're just really valuable for like the artwork and exclusivity and <laughs> collectability, I guess. Itsuki no Rujira, this is Will's Jinx, and <laughs> this is Will's Jinx. Simon Jitsu, that's Hypnosis. Yoga Pose, that's uh, Meditate. <laughs> Itsuki no Eifi, <laughs> again, this is all of the, I don't know why all the EV cards are expensive, but this is Will's Espion. Psycho Kose and that's uh, Psybeam. Shippo te tadaku tail wait. That's, that's not tail whip, it's like a card game exclusive attack. It's like slam with attack with the tail, that's what the attack says. Shiba no Ringuma. This is, uh, what's Shiba's name? Bruno. 
Bruno's、uh, Ursaring, Shibano Kaboido Him on Top, Ko Sok Kaiten. This is like speed spin, it's not an actual attack. But、uh, Spinning Head, Spinning Head. That's really strange attack name. Oh, Arda no Raiko. <laughs> This is like Team Rocket's Raiko. All of these are actually pretty cheap on that website that I bought them from. They're like only five, six dollars. You can see, like, perfect condition card. Absolutely not a single ding on the card. No winding of edge or anything. Really nice hollow card. And Arda no Ente. This is Team Rocket's Raiko and Ente. They actually give me a discount for this card. Because it's got a couple of things here. So that's. s t e f a n came up with this, what this guy's name is. So if you guys remember what Yanagi's. <laughs> it's not Kurt. Kurt's the guy that makes Pokeball.、Oh, what's this guy's name? It's gonna drive me nuts now. And a few TMs from that generation. So what we got here is Mamba no Waza Machine. This is Morty's Tech Machine times two. Trans damage. Jibun no So discard with. So with the Psychic. And they call us, you discard all the energy attached to you, and then move all the damage counter to your opponent. b a k u r e t s u Punch! So, this is a、uh, dynamic punch, flip, does 20 more damage, and your opponent's confused. And the Wataru no Waza Machine Zero to this is、uh, Lance. This is Lance、uh, Kyodain、uh, Spo Giant Tail, <laughs> 70 damage. Tails does no damage. Good old、uh, Dragon Eyes Giant Tail, that's been just an ongoing gag. <laughs> Bashamo X, look at this. X Magma vs. Aqua set. This card is so expensive in English. That's why I need this for my collection. So just look at this. Japanese cards that got amazing quality. And these are all in really good condition too. Putera X, X Megma Aqua, but I think this came out in our Sandstorm set of Genji no Hado. I think this blocks all the Pokemon tools. First edition, and a few of these are movie cards, I think. Faos no Konohana, Farina's Nuzleaf. This is what I'm missing from my、um, Jirachi movie set. Faos no Maskuma, Linen from the Jirachi movie set. Batura no <laughs> Samayoru. I never knew about the artwork of this card, so this is Butler's、uh, Dust Clops, Psycho Punch, and、uh, Naito Hendo. That's、uh, Nightshade. Psycho Punch is just a card game move. This is like Butler's trick. I don't know. <laughs> Batura no Tehin, maybe that's how it's, how it's pronounced.、Uh, Wishmaker. Wishmaker. Haruka no Wakashamo. This is Maze Kumasuken. Aksha no Tamanta. Aksha no Weasel. This is when they were just in the Manafi movie, they're starting to do, introduce some of the、uh, Gen 4 Pokemon. As you can see, these cards, once again, like majority of all these cards, besides you know, the two set ones, never came out in English, so they're all exclusive. Aksha no Onidoriru. Firo. Satoshi no A Pum. <laughs> This is like the best artwork ever for Ash's A Pum. Phantom no Perapu. Oh, never mind. That guy's name is Phantom. So, yeah, I don't know what Aksha is then. Maybe that's the ancient capital. Jackie no Captcha is the Pokemon Ranger. Jackie's Capture. Tenku no Rekuza. Oh, this is a far better condition than the one I got already. Tori no Kimochi. Because this guy's name is Tori or Tony, or I forgot what it is when they actually translated it. But、uh, search your deck for two, two in any combination of Larouse Pokemon and basic energy cards add to your hand. So it's like a Roseanne's for the movie set. That's kind of cool. Zanaro Efi. This is.、Uh, I forgot whether it's Zana's Annie or Oakley. I, th I think Zana is Oakley. It's、uh, her SPL. Once again, all the SPL cards are expensive for no reason. Mizuno Miyako no Putera. This, <laughs> they only have very few cards from that、uh, movie set, so there's that. Altamar's Aerodactyl, there we go. Very, very slowly on my way of com completing the movie set. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Just wanted to show you this is my first time actually buying from、uh, Surugaya, and it, this is a really nice place if you want to pick up a whole bunch of Japanese Pokemon cards. At a reasonable price altogether, and that lets you combine shipping. 
and of course they don't ship internationally so if you live in anywhere other than Japan you'll need to use a proxy service but they do allow a lot of payment methods that you might have like they allow foreign credit cards and also they allow PayPal that's actually what I use to pay for this order thanks so much for watching guys and then once again I'll probably have the coin collection video coming up soon and I'll see you guys soon in another video take care this is just kind of hiding in the background <laughs>